Senator Elizabeth Warren, who is a current Democratic presidential candidate, uh, was recently interviewed, or she actually took part in a forum. Uh, it was the Demo Democracy Now! Environmental Justice Presidential Forum. Uh, so really what we're going to pay attention to is we're going to um, go towards the end of her appearance with this forum. And she is asked a question by Amy Goodman about the order of the primaries. Speaking about racial injustice, do you think the order of the primary state should change? You have Iowa and New Hampshire. Wait, let, they, me, make, let me just, before you finish, are you actually going to ask me to sit here and criticize Iowa and New Hampshire? <laughs> no, I'm asking about the order. No, that is what Iowa but, and New but Hampshire are all about. But let me just ask, they're two of the whitest states in the country. And then we moved to South Carolina with a, um, a very significant uh, population of people of color. And it means the candidates spend so much of their time catering to those first two states. Overall, do you think that should change? Look, I'm just a player in the game on this one. And I am delighted to be in South Carolina. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You, That's a uh, really bad answer, I, I believe. She, um, I, 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 she seemed you know, very, I very think, defensive. Yeah, she, look, I, first of all, I've never heard anybody ask that question before. Um, I'm actually, I was very, um, I was very glad that she got that question. I'm very glad that Amy Goodman brought it up because, again, I, I've never heard anybody ask that question of a candidate. I really have never heard this subject brought up before about if we should reorder things. Um, but I liked where she was going, you know, because if you're talking about racial justice, racial injustice, uh, these first two states in Iowa and New Hampshire, of course, they are two of the whitest states in the country. So it sends uh, kind of it sends a message. Yeah, it does send a message. So it, you know, is that fair? You know, is 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 that where is that what we want to be as a country to set it up like that? And so Elizabeth Warren kind of just dismisses it and just says that, well, see, I'm just a player in this game. I don't really have anything negative to say about. Iowa and New Hampshire, but she wasn't really being asked to criticize the state of Iowa or the state of New Hampshire. She was asked, asked to weigh in on the process of things. If the process of things is fair, what do you believe about it? But she just chose to just really not answer and say, I'm just a player in this game, so I'm not going to weigh in. That's not what I want in a president. I don't think that's what anybody wants in a, in a president. Because this is, again, a candidate that believes in big structural change. Now, the structure of the whole primary process is something that a lot of people believe that should change. If you believe in correcting some wrongs in this country, if you believe in racial injustice and a lot of, in, you know, correcting injustice in a lot of different areas as well, why wouldn't you have a more, I guess, compelling answer, something that has some substance to it, something that even made it seem for a second that you actually thought about the question and was willing to weigh it on your mind just for a second, consider it and give an actual response rather than I'm just a player in this game. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm out. I'll tell you why. Because me thinks she felt attacked. <laughs> Because she tried to almost cut the question off. Did you notice that? Yes, she did. A couple she, times. She tried to just shut it down before Amy Goodman even completed the question. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure out why did she go there as if Amy Goodman was attacking Iowa. She it's, wasn't. Think about it, though. What do people do typically when that, that conversation is, you know, uh, trying to be initiated? What do people usually do? They recoil and say, why are you attacking me? <laughs> like, oh, I didn't say nothing about you. Uh -huh. We're just talking about how do we deal with uh, kind of systematic issues? How do we deal with how we uh, traditionally engage in this political process and who we cater to first and who those people look like? It, that what question wasn't about. It wasn't about Iowa. No, it wasn't about so like blaming Iowa. Blame, so Hampshire, like the fact that, what they that's are. what it sounded like. Like oh. you blaming Iowa. I was like, that's exactly what people do when they feel like they're being blamed. When the topic of, you know, I guess, putting more focus on marginalized people gets brought up, that just seemed like she took offense on behalf of the people in Iowa, on behalf of the white people in Iowa. It like she felt some kind of way about that. This is not something that 
is being talked about, especially when you're talking about these national media platforms not really being discussed. So if she had never considered the question, I get that. Mm -hmm. I understand that. If it was a surprise to her, I get that. Take a second to actually think about it. Uh, She's not somebody that's unintelligent. She actually chooses her words pretty carefully. Mm -hmm. Um, She seems that she's pretty insightful as well. She seems like she can be very intelligent and very articulate in the way that she, um, I guess, expresses herself. So... Why not just take a couple seconds? It doesn't look bad for a candidate to actually ponder something and say, you know what? I actually have not been asked that question before, but really, I mean, it's a really prudent question uh, because my whole campaign is about big structural change. And if we're talking about marginalized communities, marginalized people, um, and this is certainly an instance where for a very long time, two of the whitest states in America have been at the forefront of the primary process, uh, it may be something that we you know, may take a look at, that we should take a look at. That's not even committal. That's not even something that you're committing to. But it's at least saying the that, idea, you know what? The idea of you it. You know, I haven't thought about it before, but I, I think, you know, that warrants some kind of discussion. You can't even say that. You All you're saying is that you're a player in the game your hands are tied. You got you, you got no impact here. You can't do anything. Amy You're Goodman. running for the president of the United States. So as the president of the United States, you definitely would have some kind of power, right? Amy Goodman you definitely would have a voice. Yeah, but Amy Goodman wasn't asking her, like, hey, what would you do? What would you do to change it? How do we change it? How do you go about that? Amy Goodman, Amy Goodman didn't ask her that. Really, she was asking her, is it a problem? Do you think it's a problem? You know, and maybe, you know... I wouldn't expect her, you know, to have, you know, an answer for that question, like, immediately. No, I wouldn't. And that's being generous. But see, I don't even think that's a question that you have to deal with, like, specifically, though. Uh You can deal with it in a broad way. Because if she understands the history of this country, and if she understands uh, kind of who has a bigger voice uh-huh. in this country, then an answer wouldn't have been hard to come by. No. Do you see what I'm saying? Because you have such a if you have if you have an under- vision. Exactly. If you have a, if you have an understanding of this country and your v- viewpoint is rooted in like understanding that there are certain people that whose certain people whose voices uh, do not get heard as much. Uh-huh. Certain people who kind of voices get marginalized. If you just understand that, then the answer should almost flow flow like that. A non-committal answer too. Yeah, exactly. You could have a non-committal, a non-committal answer. Like just answer. just acknowledge that. Just acknowledge it and just move on. Again. That she couldn't even do that, I think says a lot. You know, and when I say things like, you know, she, you know, her whole campaign is about big structural change and when I rattle that off, I, look, I'm not saying that I myself believe that. Um, cuz uh, I have more than doubts. <laughs> I have more than doubts about that. But I'm just saying it in the in, in in the sense that that's what she projects. That's what she says. Big structural change. When Ayanna Presley came out with her endorsement of <laughs> Senator Warren, big structural change. Can't wait. Okay. Well, that's, this is this could be part of, part of, of that. That's a part of the structure. Yeah, this is definitely part of a an entire structure, the political structure as it relates to. Who gets to weigh in in this political process first? And it's the two whitest states. It's, it's, a, it's a question that definitely deserves some consideration, some thought. Again, I, 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 like you, I don't expect that she would have the perfect answer. Really, anybody would have the perfect answer right on the spot because, for one, I've never heard the question before. But you could have at least shown that it was actually something that merited some kind of thought. Yeah, because of the subject matter. It's not an unknown, an unbroke subject matter. Maybe the question specifically hasn't been asked, mm-hmm. but the subject matter right. is should familiar. be well it's understood familiar. and right. familiar. So right. that's where I was like... So and I think this is a combination of things. Mm-hmm. It's her seeming like she was just, I don't know, like off-put by the question uh-huh. and uh, seemed to just kind of just try to Heisman the question. Uh-huh. And then she like she took offense to the question, and then she didn't give a good answer. Didn't give a answer actually. So it was it was just 
It was all around. You really want your presidential candidate to say, I'm just a player in the game. Yo. <laughs> the one that Yo. is projecting big structural, structural change. change. I'm, I'm just, just a, a player, player in the game. In the game. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut. That's, that's, that's pretty much what she said. So really, uh, another way of saying is that when it does come to those marginalized voices, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> can't do nothing for you. Just a player in the game. <laughs>